Well, do you ever open the pantry only to find a thousand spices, but never the one you actually need? Well, from herbs to oils, Sue Spicer is here with all of your pantry essentials. Sue, thank you so much for coming in. We've been talking about this segment for days, as you can imagine. I, I've heard. I've heard. <laughs> You've heard. So where do we even start? Here are some of the things, that are, so the basic essentials. Well, you know, um, it, what a great topic for this time of year, too, because of spring cleaning. Right. So a little motivation there to get us going. And um, I've, got a, I've got a couple of different areas here that I okay. think are important for the organizational aspects. Okay. It's all about organizing. Because it starts there, doesn't it? With it having starts an organized with organizing. Country. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I call these the usual suspects. The usual suspects. Okay. That'll be the flour, yep. the sugar, right. the salt, the baking supplies. It's, it's nothing more frustrating to think, oh, I'm going to whip up some muffins and yes. boom, no baking powder or baking soda. Right? Yes. So those are kind of the usual suspects, the pasta, rice, oats, um, flours. Um, keep them in your pantry, but only for three to six months. Oh, is that right? Flowers do go rancid. They have natural oils in them. Oh, they do? Yeah, so your uh -oh. flower will go rancid after about six months. So okay. if you're not going to use flour very often, you can store it in your freezer, but then that doesn't become a pantry and it's another story. That's another story. Yes. Okay, all right. So beware <laughs> of the flour. Beware okay. of the flour. But have your usual suspects, um, like a, a marinara sauce and some pasta, and you'll always have a midnight meal or a quick dinner. Or a quick dinner, dinner. if you need it. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Now, how are we wanting to store this? You're all about the clear jars. I love clear jars. Okay. Um, and you can go for plexiglass, but the jars, of course, a little less expensive, and sure. you can wash them when you need to uh, change over. The clear jars tell you what you've got. Right. I am a big fan of labels, though. For instance, we okay, have... Okay, so take a look at this. Here, show Nick at this Okay, camera. Nick, we've got... Um, oats, still cut oats here, bulgur here. They look exactly they look the same. They look exactly the same. So do label. So if it's not labeled, that. you're not going to know what that is. Brown sugar is always something people ask me yes. about. A piece of bread or a piece of apple, keep it nice and oh, soft and moist. Oh, apple. Airtight jars. Okay, that's For the those one thing. kinds of uh, foods, um, like nuts as well. Same, airtight. Airtight. Okay. Let's move on to the spices yeah. because everybody's asking about the spices. Yes. You know, you get that recipe, you buy the one spice for that one recipe, and then you never use it again. Well, yeah. How long um, does that last? Um, it's not. And yeah. <laughs> here's another big tip. Um, I am not a proponent of buying bulk for spices. Okay. First of all, we don't know where they've come from. They haven't been kept in an air sealed, and the opportunities for contamination are rampant. So okay. we won't go there. So no bulk. No bulk. Okay. But if you do want to take advantage of, say, a lower priced spice sure. in, in, in a sealed package, please move it into a jar and label that. Okay. This is going to be your pantry's worst, worst nightmare because it's going to open, fall apart. You're going to have. This is happening. Curry everything. Yeah, especially when the nine-year-old decides to cook. When yeah. is it over? Take, like, herbs or spices. Spices you should be able to shake around and give a good whiff and know that you still have a curry or paprika or something oh, like so that. Oh, so you should be able to smell it well enough to identify And it. herbs, okay. I like to give them just a little bit of a rub and then... Oh, lovely. Lovely. Mm, there wonderful. you go. Um, I'm a big fan of spice blends because oh. that eliminates the zillion. Oh. So pick out a few. There's lots of sodium-free ones available right yes. now. Lots of different flavors. So if you like a Tex-Mex or if you like a garlic herb. Or Italian and, or, or whatever. Or Italian. Yeah. The blends are really a good pantry saver and a good go-to. Okay, nice. And lastly, lots of condiments and lots of uh, new sauces, etc., that we want to try and taste. Please read the label. Oh. It may say keep refrigerated once it's oh. open, depending upon its oil content or fresh product content. Now, here's something that can stay in, it's a paste, it can stay in your pantry, but do read, read the, the labels. labels. Okay, that's important. Yeah. So, of course, we also have the oils. Now, mm. but I wonder how long those are stable for. Well, uh, here's another one where don't go for the bulk. Okay. That's okay for the vegetable oil or the big canola oil that right. you may use for cooking. But for the specialty oils, I love this oil. It's a beautiful, almost a fresh virgin virgin olive oil. Oh, okay. Um, it's great for drizzling, finishing, dipping. So only buy it in quantities that you're going to use within three months. Okay, so this is the one that Sue likes. And I also like a fresh-pressed canola. Oh, a fresh pressed canola. And the same thing. 
buy them in smaller quantities. It will be worth, these are the specialties, they will be worth the little extra dollar that you're going to pay for it. It will be valuable in your pantry. You'll use it and then you'll get to replenish it. Oh, hey, and lovely. Appreciate the fresh. So we're running out of time, so let's just quickly make a quick comment on these guys. Well, these are sort of the go-tos. Those are the things that work for you in your family and what you like. My go-tos, panko. Yes. Coconut milk. Can't yes. be without that. And love capers um, or pickles or something like that. Add a little burst of flavor. A good cocoa, always a nice go-to. I like to have clams or salmon, something of a protein that you can mix into a pasta or a rice, and you've got another quick, healthy dinner ready to, to go. go. Quickly. Yes. Lovely. Sue, thank you so much. These are the benefits to having a well-organized pantry. Andy, I know you have anxiety about this.